Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading for September 2nd to the 8th. This is for Sagittarius, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon. And you know we're going to jump right into it, Sagittarius. Whoa, this is a big week. Uh, we've got the new moon in Virgo. And this is going to be, I feel very strongly, huge for you. All right? I'm looking at what's going on for y'all. I want you to remember, uh, as I mentioned in your monthly forecast, even before we get to the new moon, that's happening on September 2nd. On September 1st, remember Uranus and Pluto go retrograde. Pluto goes all the way back into Capricorn. So that is your second house of money, finances, income. There could be some big changes happening now because this... Uh, and I'll, I'll explain it in a second, but Pluto moving back to get Capricorn for two months in your second house of money. It's kind of just like finalizing something here, selling something, maybe a new system structure you're setting up for yourself. But it's happening during the same time of this new moon in Virgo, this in your 10th house of career. Hello. Hello. All right. Now, Uranus going retrograde in uh, Taurus. You're going to feel that very strongly, too. It's happening the same day, all at the same time as, as this new moon in Virgo, basically. That is in your sixth house. Virgo is a native ruler of the sixth house. So you see that big overlap there. There is almost like this radical change happening in your daily life. I mean, kind of big. This is going to be a big week for you, uh, uh, Sagittarius. And don't forget that Venus is in Libra, which is amazing. Venus is in her domicile this week. Okay, so very social. It's wonderful. It's fun. It's, you know, relationships. But for y'all, it's friendships. It's being with your squad, going out and getting some ice cream and tacos or whatever it is. It's also your hopes and wishes and dreams. I love this week for you. I love this week for you, Sagittarius. And don't forget, Mercury is no longer retrograde. Mercury is no longer retrograde. That's uh, It's in its shadow, but it's no longer retrograde. So we're out of that, all right, which is great. Now, September 2nd, Monday, September 2nd, new moon in Virgo. It's happening late around 10 p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. Therefore, you know, you know if, depending on where you live in this world, just adjust it to your time zone. It could be happening on September 3rd, okay? But like really early in the morning. Either way, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's happening late. It's at 11 degrees, this new moon in Virgo. So uh, 11 degrees is linked to Aquarius, by the way. It's just, you're going to feel this strong Uranus retrograde energy. Uranus being the ruling planet for Aquarius. So... Wow, big. There could even be some contracts being signed. Aquarius rules your third house of communication, agreements, and but uh, even you having this breakthrough in the way that you're thinking about something. I, I love, I, I honestly, I love this week for you. Um, okay, so new moon in Virgo, 11 degrees. Now, it's happening on 9 2, <laughs> right? So, 9. Uh, September 2nd, 9 to 9 plus 2 equals 11. What are the chances? Uh, that's amazing. Okay, so we obviously know 1 plus 1 equals 6. Just joking. Who am I? Uh, it's obviously 2. 2 is a big, strong number for this day, numerolo numerologically. I don't even know if that's how you say it or if it's an actual word. Um, so 2 energy, really strong. And I know that 11 is a master number, but 11 is just a higher vibration of two. You can, if you feel comfortable uh, if, if with the 11, go with it. I'm going with two only because the new moon is happening on the second. And so uh, the number two is actually linked to the moon as well. And so it really is strong two energy. And the other thing is... Two is very feminine. It's a very feminine uh, energy. It brings feminine energy like Virgo. Virgo is a very feminine sign. And the moon is very feminine. So two, intuition, empathy, even sensitivity, even creativity. I love it. You know, the etymological root of Virgo, by the way, is the virgin, the maiden. And so there's that feminine energy. Okay. There could even be a lot of mom uh, st uh stuff coming up around this time like mommy matters or you you know going into mommy mode a lot of mom energy uh but a lot of you know this virgo energy is purity 
purity of self, a lot of self-care. That's why you're going to have a big focus on health and uh, healing and self-healing and self-care. It's all about harvest as well. We're thinking about Virgo, right? Sun is in Virgo too. So we've, you know, new moon in Virgo, sun in Virgo. Now, like I said, it's happening in your 10th house. So career, fame, public recognition, honors, achievements. This is absolutely amazing. All right. Some of y'all are moving into new careers or having you know, activity in your careers. Big momentum here. Big momentum here with this new moon. You want to set those intentions for sure. Virgo is all about the day to day. So again, there is likely you know, a new role that you're settling into. I really, really love it. Just uh, remember the health aspect to uh, Virgo. Virgo season, new moon in Virgo. There may be something linked to healthcare or health matters as well in terms of this new role for some of y'all. It could be holistic. It could be wellness, well-being. It could be Maybe you're attracted to a job that has a really good, uh, you know, mental health program, whatever it is, there's an element of health. But Virgo is also very research and detail oriented. So you could be really going deep in terms of like, well, what is their healthcare plan and whatnot? It, but it's also remember your your health and, and your well-being. So you could even be thinking about, uh, you know, what is forest bathing. Maybe I'll research into that. What is uh, sound therapy? Maybe I'll research into that. You know, is uh, ice water really good for dogs? Uh, because Virgo rules pets. There may be something here with pets for y'all as well. But uh, just think there is some sort of commitment that you may be uh, putting toward in terms of health fitness, wellness, maybe you're joining a yoga class, doing yoga, getting a Peloton, whatever it is. I, you know, last Virgo season, I cut processed sugar from my diet. So again, anything here is just improving your health. All right. Uh, so uh, set intentions for sure. You definitely want to set intentions, but I big career energy, especially if you're Sagittarius rising. I mean, big career energy, but every Sagittarius is going to feel this, you know, 10th house, again, fame, career, public recognition, honors, even like social status. I mean, really, really nice. Um, you see, uh, well, Saturn's going to be opposite the new moon and the sun in Virgo at this time. Just it's, you know what it is. It's, it's, there may be something home related here. All right. Something home related that, uh, you may have also a lot of focus on too, as it could be like you start a new job, but then, oh, now I got to, you know, I got to go to the office and now I got to get a dog sitter or a babysitter or a house sitter or, you know, there's just maybe something here. Saturn, remember, you've already been working with Saturn's energies and Pisces in your fourth house of home anyway. You've had a lot of home activity. There's got to be a huge focus on home for you in 2025. You've heard, uh, uh, you big time, all right? Remember the nodes are shifting, okay, into the Pisces Virgo axis. But yeah, there just could be, I mean, it just may feel like the path you're on is getting a little bit steeper, steeper. Maybe there's a mosquito or two, but you got that big old sunset to, you know, catch. It's going to look great on your Instagram. You got Gordon Ramsay handing out, you know, uh, uh, pizza up there. So you're going to get there to the top. All right. Saturn's just a little, he's put on his aviators at this point. All right. But you're still working with his energy because you know, Saturn is karma and rewards you. All right. Now Mars squares Neptune on the same day as the new moon. I talked about this in your monthly forecast. I don't think this is, it's just knowing your reality, knowing your reality. It, could have a big impact on you because it is Neptune at 29 degrees, uh, really mutable energy. Remember, Mars is still in Gemini. There could be something here with partnerships as well. Partnerships, especially if it's home related, it could be significant other, it could be family member, it could be um, a realtor. There's something here where it's just know your reality. Neptune's bringing a little bit of fog, all right? You are a mutable sign, by the way. So uh, you may really feel this. Just I, I talk more about this in your monthly forecast. Just know your reality. Cut through that fog. Ask yourself, is this what I want? Okay. Now, um, Mars will move into Cancer, by the way, on September 4th. Now, I can't even begin to stress how big this is going to be for you, Sagittarius. Mars will be in Cancer all of September and all of October. 
two months, not even two months, Mars is going retrograde. Uh, January 2025, moving back into Cancer, Cancer retrograde, move, moving six months, basically Mars and Cancer for the next eight months. <laughs> it's going to be a big deal. All right. So I really want you to pay attention to what's happening here, because when Mars retrogrades next year, early next year, you're coming back to something here. Now, Mars and Cancer, Cancer rules your eighth house. The eighth house is a little intense. All right. Not in a bad way. It's death and rebirth. It's transformation empowerment this is gonna be big this is you coming into your power it's also uh like i said relationship i don't know i didn't say it but like love and there's this intensity with love and partnerships and relationships here as well and it can be business partners there's a financial aspect to the eighth house um you may have a lot of focus here for the next two months but mars is in its fall in cancer and so it doesn't do too well in cancer remember i sent your monthly forecast cancer is the crab the crab has pinchers mars is dennis the menace and so those pinchers can come out a lot of heightened emotions heightened uh even like sensitivity being extra sensitive uh work with these energies all right emotionally controlled actions that's what i say this is all about emotional growth sure it can be touchy-feely mars and cancer for the collective right so everyone's going to be a little touchy-feely uh heightened emotions but it's in your eighth house which can be like i said a little intense so remember trust your intuition let your intuition guide you you're going to be fine have those emo that emotional growth and you may have a lot of attention around home again you've already got saturn here you've got neptune here and now you got mars moving into cancer which is the native ruler of the fourth house so a lot of home and that is one of the benefits of mars and cancer is that you become uh, you know security and protection become a big priority uh it, emphasis on that home and family big emphasis on that as well all right but it is in your eighth house so again this is uh just work with these energies it can be and when i say work with these energies i natally i think i told you in this in your monthly forecast i have mars and cancer in my chart i've been working with mars and cancer since the day i was born the second i was born i know mars and cancer well i work with the energies okay i work with them and look at me all right so uh it's it's i'm just saying that some you can be a little sensitive around this time anyway uh you're gonna be fine though do some swimming do some laps that you know crabs love swimming remember i said there's gonna be this focus on health and wellness and fitness anyway good food you may be you know really into like good food around this time uh especially if you were a foodie or are a foodie uh, because capricorn also you know the second house also rules food so food could actually be a big thing for you for the next two months fyi um anyway uh you will get to september 6 because we'll talk about mars and cancer a couple other times because it's when mars actually makes aspects with other planets is is when you want to uh, I'll, I'll let you know about those mercury will square uranus on september 6 um we've already had two of these remember we started with a full moon in capricorn like two months ago you're used to it this is just surprising news that could just you know come out of nowhere but uh it's happening the week that you are likely having big changes anyway with this new moon so what this is is remember uranus has gone retrograde it's more about that inner breakthrough uranus is all about breakthrough so there could be something you're processing here from the past to have a big breakthrough okay now uh saturday september 7th the sun is going to be opposite saturn remember i talked about this you're going to be feeling it around uh this beginning of the week the sun opposite saturn Sun in Virgo, Saturn in Pisces. Remember I said, pay attention to what's happening this week, this entire month. It's really going to determine what's going to happen for you in 2025. It's it's a, a glimpse into 2025, the nodal shift. We're moving into the Pisces-Virgo axis, all right? So a lot of home energy for you and career stuff uh, that's happening. So uh, again, two mutable signs here. You're a mutable sign. There could be just, you know, be flexible. You may be adapting to change. It could be change that you're adapting to is you knowing the path that you want to be on is a path that you want to be on. There could be a big focus on spiritual growth. And remember, Saturn rewards you. Saturn rewards you. Saturn is karma. All right. And 
actually Mars will try and Saturn, uh, you know, in a few weeks. So there you go. You already get. And then the week after that, Venus will try and Saturn. So when I say Saturn's going to reward you when you work with Saturn's energies, oh yeah, it's going to reward you. All right. So let's get started. Sagittarius, I'm excited for you for this new moon and for this week. Uh, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius, Sagittarius rising and Sagittarius moon. If you want to read for any other placements, in your chart, you are absolutely welcome to. So, ooh, Sagittarius, let's get to it and see what's going on for you. Sagittarius, I do a uh, traditional call to cross spread. If we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Secondly, you know, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. I hope y'all having a great week. I hope that uh, you are getting excited for uh this new moon i mean it's gonna be big i love this new moon all right let's get started oh yeah you're gonna be good you're good you're good you're absolutely good there's there you go there you go you know okay well we'll, we'll talk about it but uh he, <laughs> i don't okay um mm-hmm you're good. Uh, yeah. All right. So you got the ten of ones in your past. There you go. You felt that squeeze. You felt that squeeze. All right. It's a Sagittarius card. Saturn is Sagittarius, but nonetheless, Sagittarius card. Uh, but it is that squeeze that you feel there could have been a lot you're taking on. There's a lot of burden, even burnout energy that comes with this. Energetically, what I'm getting is that you may have been overthinking things. You may have been taking on a lot of things too it could have just been circumstantial it could have been something that you did purposefully to distract yourself as well but 10 is the end all right one zero equals one because we're coming out of all these really strong energies that happened in august i mean that was a lot okay that was a lot but uh it could have to do with work there could have been something with work where you felt a lot of pressure in or maybe you were overworking uh and there wasn't that balance there or it could have just been like even something with like your passions but remember this is the end and there may be something that you are being rewarded for because you you got the page of pentacles okay so you're leaving that energy moving into the page of pentacles pages coming after 10 this is great i love this transition page of pentacles and the heart of your spread there is something new that's happening for you this week okay with a new moon in virgo like i said that could have to do with career and money as pluto goes into capricorn in your second house of money as i said but anyway page of pentacles there you go all right so a lot of y'all are even like wishing it thinking it wanting it this is really great this is really great energy i love the page of pentacles really i mean something truly rooting up for you something truly rooting up for you and you being very very invested in it just like the page of pentacles look how compelled he is by that pentacle he wants to learn he wants to grow he wants to be the king of pentacles one day and he will because he's so committed but the great thing about the page of pentacles is he's open to learning and so there is a sense of yeah there's something new happening for you for sure pentacles money wealth but also your physical reality something happening in your physical world or you even receiving something as well very very nice very nice now you have the three of pentacles in your challenge area, just be open to working with others, okay? That's uh, something that this card truly is, you know, at the core of the card, it's bonding, all right? But collaboration, there is a, a sense of maybe this is a week where you you, you start something new, all right? And uh, you definitely want the support of other people. Remember, that is Virgo energy anyway, helping others, you know, service to others. I, talk, I don't think I talked about that. That is a ver very Virgo energy, okay? Doing things, you know, if, if for the goodness of, of your colleagues or your family or whatnot, just think of supporting others and wanting to help others. And I'm a Virgo moon, by the way. Okay, so I have Mars and Cancer and my moon is in Virgo. Uh, and I like helping people. So there's that energy there. So, But open yourself up to it. There may even be um, something that you're... Is there something that may be delayed? Something may be delayed a little bit this week um, where other people are involved. Okay, just 
know that this is a weekly reading, so it's just a little bit of a delay. Anyway, you have the Queen of Cups in your crown. I love this. I love it when the Queen of Cups shows up in the crown. One of very few cards, believe it or not, in tarot that has the color violet in it. Okay, violet, purple. You see the throne here. We're talking about the crown chakra. Really great, that divine oh just the awareness anyway uh queen of cups is that she's so intuitive so heartfelt okay does what her heart desires but leads with her heart you see uh remember what i said emotional growth is something that you may be thinking about this week well there you go all right you see her foot in the water the water is emotions just their emotional intelligence here she's got that depth to her emotional depth um intuition is a big thing all right especially with this being in your crown so trusting your intuition i feel like that may be something that uh is really nice for you uh and you could looking at what's going on for you that uh, you definitely could still be feeling that uh and communicating in ways where it's just this loving way all right remember mercury still in leo that is your ninth house so spirituality how you see things your perspective on things philosophies but this is love Super conscious love. Speaking of love, a lot of love going around here. You got the two of cups and the root of your spread. Love it. <laughs> I love this. Uh, so, yeah, partnerships. Remember, I said Mars is moving into Cancer. This is a Cancer card that is your eighth house. Love relationships. There's that intensity there that's really nice, though. And then uh, Jupiter in Gemini, by the way, in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships. So, Jupiter bringing expansion and growth and luck and as well but this is uh, very nice very nice this is two becoming one this is the we call it the true love card in layman's terms right the twin flame card the uh soulmate card it can be very platonic as well but it's sharing that love it's feeling that love it's acting upon that love for another person okay passion you even see the winged lion here and healing too you see the caduceus the two snakes around the rod and right very old alchemical symbol but it is healing it's this driving life force too it's uh it's, it's wonderful it's wonderful i love this for you so yes that could be something that is a big theme that's happening for you uh this sense of just this all this love energy and then the ace of swords in uh your future did I say, did I mention that some of y'all, um, let me just see, let me look at look what's going on for you. Uh, I think that I talked about that. Did I talk about the breakthrough that you, you're going to be having with that Uranus energy and then how the new moon is 11 degrees linked to Aquarius. That is your third house. Uh, there could be some agreements, contracts. Anyway, that's happening with the Ace of Swords. But even this breakthrough, that's what the Ace of Swords is, is this breakthrough, this even like mental breakthrough in terms of knowing your truth and things happening in your physical world as well. This is just a lot of power. It's victory. It's success as well. This is truly amazing. There's uh, again, you've got the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords coming out through the Ten of Wands. There's definitely something new happening for you this week. Okay. New beginnings, new opportunities with this Ace of Swords. Really special. Let's get to your stuff. Oh my goodness. Sagittarius. I know this is gonna be a great week for you. Y'all gonna have a great week. I'm excited for you for uh this new moon. Okay. And it's yeah, like I said, it could be can contracts as well. Um new beginning for sure if you like this reading by the way it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments all that fun algorithm stuff you know i love y'all boom um let's get let's get to your stuff okay so y'all sagittarius okay here we go here we go we're we're you're gonna be fine you're gonna be good there is gonna be a little bit of like not seeing eye to eye but otherwise you're 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 on this big nice path you got temperance your card really great so a lot of y'all are in this space where you're in the flow you're in the flow with things you're feeling really good this is absolutely amazing you got an archangel who saying everyone's on a path you're on a path and you are aware that you're going to get there you've worked with saturn's energies you worked with mercury retrograde you worked with that full moon in aquarius and 
look at you now. Look at you now. Look how much you've grown in just a few weeks. So this is really great. There is a sense of, you know, temperance is moderation. It's patience. It's all of that. You know the temperance card. But this is really, really great because it is saying there's that mind, body, spirit. It's that love energy, self-love as well. There's the truly special. You also have the nine of pentacles. Hey, hello. This is amazing. In your external factors area, a lot of y'all are moving into a place where it's it's like you made it, okay? There is, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's that discipline. It's that I want to be self-sufficient. I've earned, she earned her spot here, okay? She worked hard to stand in a garden of abundance with these stacked pentacles. Really nice. So, a lot of y'all are fueled by having the sense of I'm leaving something behind and moving into this new job, new stage in my life, new era in my life, whatever it is that makes you feel good, makes you feel absolutely good. All right. You see the symbol of Venus all over her gown too. Really great. Really special love relationships could be a big thing here, but uh, you know, Pentacles are your physical reality. That's right. There's so much happening with the two of cups. And anyway, uh, it's also uh, money and wealth. Yeah. But spiritual wealth and just being aware of, 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 of earning, like really earning your spot. Like the, she, nothing was handed to her. She worked for it. So that's what makes it special. Coming with that ace of swords, coming with a page of pentacles. Now, the other thing is someone could actually open doors for you. Someone could be uh, really... Uh, it could be because of what's happening for y'all this week. It could be like a recruiter. It could be, you know, maybe a boss that gives you a promotion. It could be someone in your family there. Uh, you know, the eighth house is inheritance as well. You got Mars and cancer there for two months. So anyway, there's is someone that could be doing something special for you this week. And then you've got the eight of wands. Absolutely love this. You're just ready. You're ready your your things are aligning for you you want things to align for you your passions your ambitions even work related matters there are some things it looks like that uh you're ready to settle into something um but you see all the ones here aligning this is also another sagittarius card by the way so everything's just aligning for you it's just like work with that energy go with that flow and then you got the five of wands and your final outcome. So there's a little bit of noise here. All right. There's a little bit of noise with the five of wands. This is a five. It is a bit of a challenge card. All right. It, but it's the least challenging of the challenge cards. Now you see it's just kids swinging their wands in the air. It's just noise. All right. This card is not worth your time or energy uh, card. So what do you do? You rise above it. All right. There's got to be someone in here that says, y'all, we got to see eye to eye. No one's seeing eye to eye. There's too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, very competitive energy here as well. But again, with Mars moving into Cancer, emotions being heightened, you've got all this Virgo energy in your 10th house of career. Um, there could be something here with travel too. When I see what's happening for you, uh, maybe not seeing eye to eye if you're planning a trip with someone but either way just rise above that you know what comes after the five of ones is a six of ones it's you know public recognition it's victory it's success it's being you know admired it's all of that let me to clarify i didn't do any clarifies for you oh <laughs> you're good you're uh, you're good to go uh, listen you you just got the ace of cups so you don't fall into this energy and you rise above it and again it can be just some even like friendly competition and if and if you f feel that that's happening in your world within your orbit just don't let it get to you remember emotions are going to be heightened you're going to be fine ace of cups i mean come on come on you're you're going to be this is amazing you got the ace of swords and the ace of cups ace of cups w this is the holy grail of cup i mean like cups emotions love relationships i mean you got the two of cups and the root of your spread so there is something new happening this week for sure with the page of pentacles ace of swords and the ace of cups for you ace of cups in your final outcome we call this the heart of tarot you see all the streams 
uh this is i mean it looks like tears too it looks like tears uh, like tears of joy i always say this card when this card comes up think about the last time something brought you so much joy it brought you to tears like getting you know a promotion or a proposal or having a baby or you know what i mean like just something that's really special that's going to make your feelings overflow i mean you're you're absolutely good you're you're good with your ace of swords your ace of cups so yeah there could be some new relationship developing again it can be something with career it could be something with home and family a lot of opportunities and a lot of possibilities for you this week it, it's really special whatever happens it is going to emotionally fulfill you in this rapturous way all right this is very nice just cut that noise out uh that five of wands energy and again there just may be someone that wants what you want or just someone that's poking the bear just uh, stay frosty be cool you you got something waiting on the other side here um you're good you're good to go i mean you're good you're right <laughs> sagittarius uh thanks so much for tuning in if you like this reading it would be great if you like subscribe leave comments tell me what's going on what is this new thing happening in your life oh my goodness what is it there's uh, yeah uh, please set intentions this week with a new moon in virgo okay uh next week we'll go deeper into the you know aspects for next week <laughs> all right sagittarius y'all are amazing i'll see you next week bye bye